on the Vista Corolla Line, also known as International Field Air Group. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to record your Easy Cap or Any Cap guitar in high quality without going to 720p HD on YouTube. Because right here, someone asked me this question recording it in this quality, and it's not in HD, it's in 3D 60 I'd be recording this virtual dub. And I'll show you. Now, before you record, now let's record now because it will take time. Go to Capture I, A, I, A, V, I. And don't worry if it's like this. If you show it like this, go to Video. And, and if you're in Overlay, now hit Preview. And it should show up exactly clear, like this. I'm using S Video Cap. That's why mine is in good quality right here, and this is my easy cap. Now, I'm going to use an S video. And before you continue, hit compression. Make sure you choose the first one. It will put it in a large file, but I'll show you a code it. You can make it smaller. And, for the top, for the set, settings and timing, you gotta make sure which framework to put it on. I live in the US, so, excuse me. I changed the fraps to 2997, but I recommend putting on 30p. 30,000 fraps. Because it will change it later. Now, for timing, you can do these settings right here. Copy all the settings I have. You can pause it right here if you need to as well. And for the capture pen, capture filter leaves in default. Now, in the capture pen, you change this to the default right here like mine. Choose YUYP if you have mine. And keep this as default. Hit apply. Okay. Now, you go to... Oh, and then don't worry because you see this right here when I move this blue screen, we'll fix that later. Now, all you just do is just capture your video. So, capture file. We're going to call this HD test. Well, not HD because I'm showing you how to get your quality with HD. HD for high quality test. Now go to capture and capture video. Now notice when you catch a video, the file looks large. That's because of the recording, but trust me, you'll get the best quality out of it. Now let's stop it right here. Now you hit File, Exit Capture Mode. And now we'll open your video file. If you save this a Q test. Now you see here, I load my my own rendering processor, but I'm going to give you my settings. Go to video, hit filters. Now for the insulates, when you get this, I recommend you hitting this, the blend field. Don't hit, hit the first one, because they'll be set to default, but hit blend field field. For sharpening, I put my real sharp so it can be real good, but this depends on you. No transform, this way you get rid of the blue blue line. I cropped it and then it will take the blue line off. Now, here's the really important part on the resize. When you change this, hit disable and change the output pixel. And since mine's in, and if you live in the US and you want 480 high quality, this is the front, this is the size. But right now, we're doing the 360. We'll turn it up to 40 and 360. Now this is important. It will be set to up here. Change it so you can get a waxing high quality with the black corners on to this. And hit apply, then okay. It's smoother help taking some of the sharpness out because some of them have a noise on it. Have like static. Now let me show you. you take this off and change the detail. You see all these pixel lines, like you're on TV, and it's going to go out. 
Now, you enable noise. It'll reduce it. And change it to three of the numbers with five things. Hit OK. The AD just can add more color to it. I think it's light and dark. Now, as soon as you finish this, and I, oh yeah, before I continue, you want your audio and video to be synced together. Even though you did time, you go to frame rate. Now you see this? Change so the video and audio will match. And convert it, it only if you live in the US. It's 29.970. If you live in the Euro or United Kingdom, you change to 25.30. But I live in the US, so it would be 29.970. Hit OK. And for the render and for the um, compression, I'm going to give you a link. Now, you go to this compression right here. And I recommend this because it'll make your video in high quality while suppressing it into a smaller file. Here in settings, change the audio, this audio, keep this how it is. You change the rate factor to 20, and keep these as 1 and keep this as default. Now the difference is, you keep 5, V, F, and W. Switch it to V, F, W. Keep this. You may see a lot like this, but keep the Lord, the, excuse me, the capsule H, and check the virtual dub pack, because I'm using virtual dub pack, and hit OK. Now go to file, save AVI, and name it any name you want. To make it go fast, hit highest, and uncheck these. Oh, and I um, have something else to say. Now, I see people with SD or caps, but it still looks lower quality. That's because when you render with Sony Vegas, you gotta find the best quality ever. Because it can render it into a lower quality. Hmm. Usually, the HD settings be the best, but if you want it in low quality, but if you want it in high quality and low settings, and you want it like in 360p, I recommend you using Virtual Dub because it will render it in higher quality. But the file size be nothing like more than three, more than 200 megabytes instead of gigabytes. But your fast internet will load it up to a maximum of 60 to 90 minutes, which won't be long anyway. You see this? You want to check these, and these went off, so it won't slow the time down, and the time goes by much, much faster. And then, as soon as you finish with that, upload it on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Remember to. Comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. And this is the old Corel Roy. I did my old channel just got deleted. This is my new channel. I'll be re-uploading my Metroid Other Than Walkthroughs, Metroid Prime Speed Run. Now, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. So, I'll see you guys later.